The age of dinosaurs may have ended but a new era of dominance was about to dawn in the world's oceans. It was a time of change, with new opportunities arising for those who could seize them. Among these were the early ancestors of the Megalodon, sharks known as Ototus obliquus. These sharks, though not giants themselves, possessed the blueprint for greatness, a lineage that would lead to the largest shark to ever roam the seas. They lived during the Paleocene epoch, roughly 66 to 56 million years ago, a time when marine life was recovering from the mass extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs. These early ancestors were smaller than Megalodon, but they had a crucial, characteristic, serrated teeth. These teeth were perfectly designed for slicing through flesh and bone, giving them an edge in the race for survival. Over millions of years driven by the powerful forces of natural selection, these sharks gradually increased in size. Their bodies became more streamlined, their fins more powerful, and their jaws even more formidable. This evolution was not a sudden leap, but a slow and steady march towards becoming the ultimate predator. With each generation they became better adapted to hunting larger prey, eventually setting the stage for the emergence of the mighty Megalodon. The fossil record tells a story of this gradual transformation, with each new discovery adding a piece to the puzzle of Megalodon's ancestry. As the Eocene epoch gave way to the Oligocene, roughly 34 million years ago, the ancestors of Megalodon continued their evolutionary journey. They grew larger and stronger, their bodies adapting to the challenges of hunting in the open ocean. It was during this time that a significant shift occurred, the appearance of Carcharocles angustidens, a direct ancestor of Megalodon. This shark, measuring over 30 feet long, was a formidable predator in its own right, but it was still dwarfed by the behemoth that was to come. Carcharocles angustidens fossils have been found around the world, indicating its widespread distribution and success as a predator. The Miocene epoch, which began around 23 million years ago, marked the reign of the true giant, Ototus Megalodon. This was the culmination of millions of years of evolution, a testament to the power of natural selection to shape life on Earth. Megalodon was truly colossal, reaching lengths of up to 60 feet or more. Its size was one of its greatest assets, allowing it to dominate the oceans like no other creature before or since. This immense size was not just for show, it was a crucial factor in Megalodon's success as an apex predator, it allowed Megalodon to hunt the largest prey available, the giant whales that roamed the Miocene seas. One cannot speak of Megalodon without mentioning its most fearsome weapon, its jaws. These were not merely large, they were engineered for power and efficiency, capable of delivering bone-crushing bites. The jaws themselves were massive, lined with rows of razor-sharp teeth. These teeth were not just for show, they were designed to tear through flesh and bone with ease. Scientists estimate that Megalodon's bite force was the strongest of any known animal, surpassing even that of Tyrannosaurus rex. This incredible bite force was generated by a complex system of muscles and bones. The muscles were massive, capable of contracting with tremendous power. The bones of the skull were fused together for strength, providing a solid anchor for the muscles to pull against. This combination of size, strength, and design made Megalodon's jaws a weapon to be feared. Even the largest whales stood little chance against such a formidable predator. A single bite from Megalodon could crush bones, sever spines, and inflict massive internal injuries. Megalodon's teeth are more than just remnants of a prehistoric giant, they are clues to its life, diet, and dominance. These teeth, some measuring over 7 inches long, are among the most common Megalodon fossils found. They are triangular in shape, serrated like a steak knife, and designed for one purpose cutting through flesh and bone. The serrations on the teeth increased their cutting efficiency, allowing Megalodon to tear off huge chunks of flesh with ease. The sheer abundance of Megalodon teeth found around the world is a testament to its success as a predator. These teeth, shed and replaced throughout its lifetime, paint a picture of a creature that consumed vast quantities of prey. Analysis of these teeth along with bite marks found on fossilized whale bones confirms that Megalodon's diet consisted primarily of large marine mammals. Whales, dolphins, seals, and even other sharks fell victim to this apex predator. The size and shape of Megalodon's teeth also provide insights into its hunting techniques, suggesting a strategy of delivering powerful, disabling bites. Section 5. 
Hunter on the High Seas, Megalodon's Prey and Tactics. Megalodon was an apex predator meaning it sat at the very top of the food chain. Its size and power allowed it to hunt the largest animals in the ocean, and you know its diet really reflected this dominance. Whales, particularly large baleen whales, were a staple food for Megalodon. These whales, though massive, were no match for the speed and agility of a hunting Megalodon. Scientists believe that Megalodon employed ambush tactics using its powerful tail to propel itself towards its prey at high speeds. Evidence suggests that Megalodon targeted the flippers and tails of its prey, crippling them before delivering a fatal bite. This strategy is supported by the discovery of fossilized whale bones bearing deep bite marks and fractures consistent with Megalodon attacks. Once immobilized, the whale would become an easy target for the giant shark, which would use its powerful jaws to tear off huge chunks of flesh. The ocean depths would have been a scene of carnage, with blood and oil staining the water as Megalodon feasted on its kill. Megalodon was not confined to a single region. Its fossils have been found on every continent except Antarctica. This global distribution is a testament to its adaptability and success as a predator. It roamed all the world's oceans, from the warm, shallow waters of the tropics to the cooler, deeper waters of the polar regions. This wide range suggests that Megalodon was tolerant of a variety of water temperatures and salinities, making it a truly versatile predator. However, Megalodon did show a preference for certain habitats. Fossil evidence suggests that it favored coastal regions and warmer waters, particularly those areas rich in marine life. These areas would have provided ample hunting grounds for a predator of Megalodon's size and appetite. Shallow coastal waters, estuaries and lagoons were likely important nurseries for Megalodon young, providing a safe haven from larger predators. The fossil record suggests that Megalodon may have congregated in these areas to mate and give birth much like some modern shark species do today. Megalodon's dominance of the ancient oceans was no accident. It was the result of millions of years of evolution, honing its body and senses into the perfect tools for hunting. Its massive size was undoubtedly its most obvious advantage, but it was far from the only one. Megalodon possessed a suite of evolutionary adaptations that made it a nearly perfect predator, its streamlined body allowed it to move through the water with incredible speed and agility, despite its size. Its powerful tail supported by a massive caudal fin provided the thrust it needed to chase down even the fastest prey. Megalodon's senses were also highly developed. It possessed an acute sense of smell, allowing it to detect prey from miles away. Its hearing was adapted to pick up the low-frequency vibrations made by swimming animals, giving it an edge in the murky depths. Furthermore, Megalodon may have possessed a special sensory organ known as the ampullae of Lorenzini, which allowed it to detect the electrical fields generated by the muscle contractions of its prey. The reign of Megalodon, though long and absolute, was not fated to last forever. Around 3.6 million years ago, at the end of the Pliocene epoch, this magnificent predator vanished from the fossil record. The exact reasons for its extinction remain a subject of debate among scientists, but several factors likely contributed to its demise. One of the most significant factors was likely climate change. The Earth was entering a period of global cooling, and the oceans were not immune to these changes. As temperatures dropped, the availability of Megalodon's preferred prey, such as large whales, may have dwindled. Many whale species migrated to colder, more productive waters, leaving Megalodon with a shrinking food supply. Competition from other predators such as the ancestors of modern great white sharks may have also played a role. These smaller, more agile sharks could have outcompeted Megalodon for food, further stressing its already strained populations. The combination of these factors likely proved too much for Megalodon to overcome, leading to its eventual extinction. Though Megalodon vanished from the oceans millions of years ago, its legacy continues to captivate our imaginations. It stands as a testament to the power of evolution and the awe-inspiring diversity of life that has existed on our planet. The sheer size and power of Megalodon continue to fascinate scientists and the public alike, inspiring countless books, documentaries, and even Hollywood movies. Yet much about this ancient predator remains shrouded in mystery. The fossil record, though revealing, provides only a glimpse into the life and times of this magnificent creature. Many questions remain unanswered, such as the details of its social behavior, its reproductive strategies, and the true extent of its range. 
The search for answers continues driven by a desire to understand this ancient predator and its place in the grand tapestry of life. Each new fossil discovery brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of Megalodon, reminding us of the incredible creatures that once ruled our planet and the ever-changing nature of life on Earth. Megalodon may be gone, but its story is far from over.